Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Deja Vu Thrifting. On Tuesdays, uh, that's my target day to go shop at Value Village because it is Seniors Day and I have a 30% off discount. And um, yeah, so let's head over there. Allons-y. This is the tomb aisle and the little apparatus. So these are collectible. So it would be $250, 250 that's $10, so it would be $7 for me today. Um, hmm. Do I? Do I? Do I? And then there's this one here that I just saw, it's musical. Probably, I don't know if it's Christmas or what, let's try it out. Let's try it out. Oh, yeah. 2013. I'll look it up and see for the fun of it. And these, I'm just not sure enough. I could do a look up before I even consider this. This looks vintage. A mushroom with uh, the smurfs. Is it vintage? I like that. Oh, with 24 little smurfs in it. It's 2017. Yeah. It's very cool. Huh. I wonder if it's from another country because I don't know. Because of what it says on the cover. Look this up as well. Tins are selling very well for me. A regular regular thing. So route vers la mère. I know my grandson is starting junior kindergarten this year. Come this upcoming September. So cute. And my Catalan. My Catalan is kindergarten. And French. This is very vintage. Really bad. Not particularly fancy about the design. And my mother used to have something very similar. Oh, the inside is nice too. Let me check this out. For Teresa. Good. Gold roses. The inside is in nice kind of red satiny. Good condition too. Oh. Three forty nine. And I mean there's a couple of little days, but oh, I don't know. Very indecisive about that one. Another one here. Hmm. This is looks like wood, but it's actually plastic. This I think would be vintage as well. And then this is what the inside looks like. Oh. That's what I like, it's different. It might be a good piece for a collector. 349, so that's going to be... I think I'll, be, I'll give you a gamble on that one. Now these copper kettle also do sell very well. This one it has some issues. 849, it's just too much for the issues that it has. Ooh, 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 ooh. I like that. Fifteen forty-nine. Happy village, you're killing me. Oh, that's so nice. It's just too much. Fifteen, fifteen, maybe ten dollars. 
But I look on the, what if they go for like 45? Then it might be worth it. So I checked this one out um, online. I saw some comps on eBay and um, Etsy, and they go for around $20. Uh, so at $15.49, even with the rebate, uh, it's going to be a no go today. I also checked this here, but I might take a chance on it just because the price is low and um, collectors uh, are either Smiths or Tins might be looking for this, so I'm going to get a lot. So I decided to pass on this one. I looked at some comps, and since there's no markings, even though I don't know, I think I think um, I'll leave that to, to someone else today. Um, this one, this one, because the price is so low, and I looked at comps, and they go for around 20 to 25. Some of them. This one I don't know, but um, I'm gonna gamble on this one again. Uh, to cater uh, to some collectors. One of my favorite aisles now. Wood aisle. I like this basket here, but it would be so big to ship like huge boxes and very expensive. I, I've sold very similar ones before, and uh, speaking from experience, I don't want to pick it up. I don't like this. And another little wooden box. This is. How is this open? Oh, oh, it slides. Let's see. One hand. That's a little hard to do. Here we go. It's on cover. Elephants. Hmm. Two forty nine. Not bad, that would be below two dollars. That's a cute little piece. I like that. I like that. And what is this? This is a gold. 249, it's hand painted. Very nice. I don't know. That's really nice. This one is two. Four for the money for that. See that? I, I wouldn't go for that. What? Oh, what? Just to put something in it? Or to. Mm -hmm. Seven for the nine is too much. Crazy. So that's cherry wood made in Canada. Oh, that is so cute. I can remember that. It's like a little secret, secret drawer made of a piece of cherry. Yeah. I like that. Some stones missing on the on the top. Yep, uh, made in Thailand, they still want 1049 for it, even though there's stones missing. They're staying there. Oh, I have a single one with a knob like that. It's a lighter wood and it's uh, rectangular. Hmm. Made in the Dominican Republic. Hmm. Seems to have an issue. Yeah, two pots here. Oh, I see. That's set that my mom used to have. Oh, there. <laughs> okay, that, oh, that must be blue one, too. Looks like it. Yeah. A little creamer with a chip. So, and then this. 
this this one. Ooh, that's nice. Very nice. I love the glaze. I don't think it's Blue Mountain though. It doesn't have the the shine. See the difference here? The shine and the shade is a little different. Ooh, what is this? Wow. It looks like a bird almost. It's just too expensive anyhow. $24.99. But wow. It's uh, it's with inside, so freshly washed, I guess. Lots lots of patina. Hmm, I'm curious about this. I think it's something super duper. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out. So yeah, it's interesting. Um, I don't know. There's one that I see on eBay that has the decanter and ten goblets, and they're asking two twenty five. There's one that was sold on Etsy, but I can't see the price. So, um, I think I know it might be a mistake, but I think I'll pick this. I really like this cute little creamer here, amber color, but for five ninety nine is just too much. And then this one also is nice. $3.99 more reasonable, but the quality is not there. And this is very ch sharp. I mean, I could literally cut, cut my finger on this, so... Um, nope. <laughs> Let me just keep on looking. This piece here is very nice as well. Definitely vintage. $5.99. But there's no markings on the And a lot of the gold uh, has faded. Um, I'm inclined to pass on this. There's a cart right there. And then there's what? another cart over there. Okay, we have mugs here. And I saw this one right away just because I know it's $7.99. It's huge. Do I want it for myself? <laughs> because it says here, I hate mornings. Oh, I, I used to love, I used to be a morning person and really get up and go, go, go. And as I'm getting older, it's, you know, needs a little bit more of a battery charge in the morning. Okay, so it is Disney made in Thailand. I'll do some comps and see, because it is a good one. Slow the slot down. <laughs> oh gosh, I read between the lines on this one. That's good. I am totally buying this Grandpa Numero Art, so Grandpa Number One. That would be a nice little uh, Father's Day gift for Pierre, who is the grandpa of the grandkids. <laughs> So I think that's cute if we put candies or something in there, or a pouch of coffee, Bud's coffee. Um, yeah, totally getting this for $1.99. So I checked this mug online and it goes between $28 and $32. So I will uh, pick it up because it's just, uh, it's just too good. There are so many cards everywhere. They're going by. I keep looking in there and I can't see anything that I like. Okay, there's a mug here that's interesting. Thinking about Father's Day coming up. And then, if you have a father that is bowling, you can drink his beer in there. It's interesting. I think it's a cute little gag here. And I mean, for three bucks, I mean, even if I only sell it for 10 or 12 dollars, um, I'll pay two. It's just fun. I like to give people a chance to purchase things um, that you don't see anywhere and from other sellers. 
Now this, these vintage glasses are 1989 Ghostbusters. Um, they're a little bit faded. And I know Ghostbusters is coming back because of the new movie hitting the theaters soon, I think. Or is it Netflix? Um, with Dan Aykroyd who will play in it again. And maybe the other guys too. Bill Murray, I don't know if they're going to play. But um, yeah, they're nice. I like it. But $3.99 each. I'm not really willing to gamble this amount of money. Manhattan. Oh, that's recipes for uh, for uh, drinks. That's cool. Now, this here, <laughs> Mill Street Brewery, out of Ooh. I don't know. It's not a well known one, so probably not a good idea. Now, listen to this down at home. Like, okay, here we go. That's the fifth cart that's going back into the warehouse to get filled up again. So there was four carts being emptied, and now they all went back, one behind each other, like a little parade. Hopefully, they'll all come out at the same time. <laughs> Meanwhile, um, I saw these salt and pepper shakers, little roosters, but six dollars. They're made in Japan, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about those. I'll look online, but I doubt it. Usually, no, $6 is too much. No, I've made a decision. You know? Oh, that's the crazy out there. Wait, wait, wait. Do they want $1 million? I'll put that back, I promise. Please be reasonable if you are the crazy. Ugh, you are not the crazy. If you were, that means okay. If you were, it would be darker, and it would say, Le Cousin. Um, How are you This is impetus. Let's take a look at the clams. Lobster clams. I really like it. Very nice. I think I'll pick this one up. It is lobster. Yeah, okay. Like those tone. Like this is glass. This is all glass. This is nice. I like that there's doesn't seem to be one one uh, bead that is the same. They're all individually hand-on and made. Very nice. Hmm. I don't know, I don't know. This amethyst also. So it says Stella and Dot. Then I saw something. Oh, I saw this. This is nice. This is really different. Five dollars. I like the way that chain is made. It's very really different. There's no class, but I'm thinking for myself. Oh, what is this? Oh, there's some. Uh, some of the gold tone that's uh, been faded, so a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's on my phone. 
these two necklaces. Very um, eclectic. I really like them. This is a cold tone. So, um, and is on the hook. I'm thinking it might be slightly vintage. I just like the geometrical pattern in that interlocks. And then this one with uh, five teardrop. It's not wood. It looks like wood, but it's not. It is not that cold to the touch, but and three ninety nine each. So I think I will pick those two up. Okay, so I spent a little over two hours in this place. <laughs> so I have all these treasures and I am making my way to the French shop. I'm very pleased with some of the things that I got. I will go home and we'll go through the things one by one. I'll show you how much I paid, including the discount and how much I think it's worth. Let's go. So this is going to be part two of my collection of babies, my salt and pepper shakers, which I've been collecting since 1981. And I'll just show you here some of the favorites that I kept. Uh, this is a cute little flower here with a pot. I got the traditional uh, New Year's Day champagne bottle, cards, Coca-Cola bottles. I like this little turkey here. I uh, did put them out for uh, Thanksgiving a couple of times. And I have these metal ones, uh, totem um, shakers. Betty Boop, of course, with her motorcycle. Behind here, I have the uh, Native American with his teepee, some Christmas candies, uh, candy canes, and a uh, cupcake. This cute little puppy who's, who's relieving himself. <laughs> That's the best way I can put it. And then we have uh, Butler and the Maid. These, shh, censored. I have these here, which actually are the very, very first ones that I got on my honeymoon in Niagara Falls. Um, I have Elvis's blue suede shoes. We have here little... Um, I was going to say caterpillar, uh, ladybugs, ladybugs, these tiny little mini ones. I love those. They're so cute. Below here, some Christmas candies. I have a um, washer dryer here, which I purchased from a fellow Canadian um, reseller not too long ago on Whatnot. Some fire hydrant, these anthropoformic uh, spoon and a fork, little piglets, some uh, crocodiles, Las Vegas uh, dice. These I made myself um, back in the 80s, paint 
and I was doing a lot of ceramic. And then we have the salt and pepper uh, telephone boot from London, some uh, Mexican ones. They're not real copper, it's just painted to look like it. I have cute little birds here. These are definitely vintage. Some sausage dogs. These here, there's four of them as you can tell. So it's uh, tools, really cool. I like these two, the fried egg in the pan. Lipsticks. These I like, and every time something shakes in the house, this thing slides down. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've picked that up. And then Coke bottles. And then I have Route 66 uh, gasoline tanks. These are definitely vintage as well. They are porcelain. The farm here. I have two sets of the light bulbs. Uh, blue and amber. Or cobalt blue glass and then amber glass. Of course, Oscar the Grouch. Cute little praying children. The Mama and Papa Turkey. Oh, I have a chip there. Oh no, it's not, it's paint. Phew. And then some cactus. These I bought in Jamaica on a trip there. And these also very vintage smoking pipes. I like the couch and the ottoman hearts or one heart that's split in two actually uh, these are made of metal also vintage and then below then here this too always falls off every time something shakes in the house like if my grandson is running poof, it goes down <laughs> so this is a, a coat rack with some hats the uh, plastic um, umbrella stand to really I like those because they have a spring here so they kind of move I like that I have the bowling pin and two bowling balls the I love Lucy cake clush here so you take the clush out and then one is a salt and the other one is a pepper I really like that it's really original really original I bought that um, on eBay as well and then these gifts to Santa sleigh ducks the mama who's hungry in the middle of the night and she goes to the fridge some cute little potatoes Mickey and Minnie daddy doing the barbecue thing <laughs> And then we have these cute vintage babies here. Really cute. The uh, sausage dog again. I really like that. That's very unusual. And then the salt and pepper. Um, tomato and pepper. And I used to put them on the table a lot when um, I was serving spaghetti or an Italian meal. So that is part two of the collection. And next week will be part three, and that will be, again, a tower that is just as big as this one, full of goodies. I'll see you then. As usual, if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share, and leave a comment below. And I'll see you next time. À la prochaine, tout le monde!